Yo, what is up guys, Punkers here, and today I am back for you another Advanced Warfare MLG Tips and Tricks video, and today what we're going to be talking about is a technique called snaking. You may have seen a pro player, maybe a top amp player snaking before, you may not have even known that they were doing it, but today I'm going to talk about how to do it, what it looks like in the game, and how it will help you win more gunfights. What you'll be watching in the background is two things. One is me on Biolab playing against some bots, kind of showing you what snaking will look like while you're playing. Two is me on Biolab, just kind of showing you guys how to snake and the technique as a whole. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you helped you out, and without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so snaking is essentially just drop shotting around a corner. Now if you aren't familiar with drop shotting, it's when you lay down and shoot at the same time. Now I prefer being on tactical when I do this so I can use my right joystick to lay down instead of pressing B. That way I can continue aiming and firing while I'm laying down. Now uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come up to a corner and lay down just like I did right there twice against those bots. Now the reason you do this is because when you do that, from their point of view, all that pokes out is your head on the bottom right or bottom left of the doorway, whichever side you're laying down on now this is way better than just running through a door and uh, just shooting because if you just run through a door and even maybe pre aim or maybe pre fire you still obviously have a chance of winning the gunfight but you have a lot more of your body showing so there's a lot more of a chance for the enemy to you know hit a lot of shots because obviously there's more of your body that they have to hit but if you just lay down around a corner and you're only your head shows and they have a lot smaller tar a lot smaller target you know and so you know a smaller target is always a good thing when you're in a gunfight now it's also a good thing is that since it's a form of drop shotting, their aim assist is going to go crazy. So you guys um, know about aim assist, it's what we use on console, mostly for FPS, that way you can use controllers more precisely, uh, you know, because I don't want to get into this argument, but some people say that mouses are more precise than controllers, but we use aim assist. Now aim assist can sometimes be a little fluky, as you guys probably know, sometimes we'll be in a gunfight and your aim assist will get taken by, away by like another enemy, or maybe the guy drop shots, but your aim assist stays the same, and so he gets dropped below your gun and keeps firing while you're still aiming above his head. This is essentially the same thing so what's gonna happen is sometimes um you're gonna drop behind a door you're gonna snake behind the door and his aim is not gonna move because the doorway is like the game thinks that the doorway is between you guys so it's not gonna give him aim assist because you know that it won't give you aim assist if there's an object between you because you don't want someone knowing that you're on the other side of the map because you get aim assist so the game thinks that a door is between you now so you're gonna drop and their aim is gonna stay the same so you're gonna be below their gun and what I mean by that is since your gun is on the screen and it's covering uh, I don't want to say a lot of the screen, but as you can see as I'm playing right now, my gun is covering a little bit of the screen. Their head is going to be, like, blocked by your gun. Because, like, your point of view from your character is going to block their head. So, basically, their gun, your gun's going to stay the same, and their character is going to be below you, and they're already going to be shooting. They're going to get, like, like, five or six shots off before you even know to aim below. Now, really good players will kind of know that players will attempt to snake, and so they'll pre-aim the corner, uh, or pre-aim a corner, hoping that they snake that corner. Uh, but sometimes players that aren't so good maybe in ranks or in public matches will not know uh, to pre-aim that. And so they'll kind of be lost if you snake. So snaking is always a great thing. Now this is really, uh, I, I want to say advantageous if someone's chasing you. So if you're kind of being chased through a map, let's say search and destroy, you're being chased, and let's just say you hear him. Uh, you don't want to turn around yet because you're kind of going through walls and stuff, but you're pretty sure he's behind you. Maybe your teammates called him out, he's behind you, he's behind you. You can run through a doorway, turn around, and then snake that doorway. Now, that's the last thing in the world he's going to expect. You know, he may be prepared to shoot you in the back, or maybe he's prepared for you to turn around, but he's not going to be prepared for you to drop shot through a door. Like, all of a sudden, he's chasing you, and, uh, I mean, he's chasing you, and all of a sudden, your head just appears at the bottom left of a doorway. He's, he's just finished, dude. He is done. And so, snaking is so advantageous to do, and you'll see pro players do it all the time, and they're still credited for doing it. It's not, like, a really, really, really well-known thing. I mean, it's well-known amongst a pro and top amp scene, but uh, pros are still kind of... You know, it's still a good play when you do it. It's not like drop shotting or jump shotting in general where everyone needs to do it. Snaking is still a thing where it's kind of relatively unknown uh, and like the, like, kind of, I don't know, I guess newer players. And so it's still really impressive when you see a pro doing it. So it's a pretty, like, easy concept to get down. Uh, I wouldn't say you really need to go practice it in a pub, in like a public match or, in, or private match. I mean, anything like that, because uh, it's relatively easy. So I would say just guy kind of go play ranked, and every once in a while, if you get the opportunity, try and snake a doorway. Let's say you're playing hard point on Biolab, and there's a door that you're about to run into to get into the hard point. Maybe instead of just running and hoping to get into the point, you snake the doorway and see if you can catch a guy off guard, pre-aiming you, uh, hoping to like you know defend the hard point, something like that. Try and do that. 
and I would say that's the best way to practice and then after a while like anything you're gonna get it down and uh, eventually be able to do it without thinking so yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video it was a very short one for today I had some issues uh, with my recording software I, it made me upgrade for some reason and when I did it said that the serial number like wasn't working or something so I had to go through live support and it was just a whole bad thing. So I hope you guys are okay with this. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you all in the next video.